right, you guys. So good morning, happy or good afternoon, happy Monday. Hope your NFL launch was good and uneventful. I see a number of them have sold out, but I hope you all got what you needed in plenty of time. Um, I'm Karen Fettis. If you don't know me, I'm a um, superstar director, joined in 2008. Um, and I'm excited to talk to, to do this panel today on team culture. I think team culture is one of the most important things that you can do as you're growing your business is really work um, to make sure that your team culture is positive and sticky. Uh, and I think it's what kind of will get you to the next level. The team you have today is not the team that will take you to the next level or group. What got you here will not take you there. And team culture plays a really big part, I think, in that whole process. So I've got three experts, in my opinion, experts on this topic who are going to talk with you today and share kind of what they do and um, how they do it and, and the dynamics of their team culture. We've got Amanda Aiden, Eva Sox, and, and Terry uh, Newman is with us. And I'm going to just pass some questions back and forth between the three of them. Two of them are in their car right now. So um, I will actually, I'm going to start with Amanda because um, I know you've got school pickup. So it might be easier before Thank you. you have a little one who gets in your car. Um, if you guys, when I when I ask you a question, if you'll just do a quick intro of yourself and um, and then just can answer the question. So tell me, go ahead and introduce yourself, Amanda. Um, will you tell me a little bit about your team culture and a couple things that you do to um, to establish that culture? Sure. Well, thank you, Karen, for inviting me on. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm Amanda Aiden, and I joined Sensi back in. 2012, I was a hobbyist for many years. Then a few years ago, I changed my mindset and I started to grow my team and my business. And we just promoted to SSD last month. So I'm a brand new baby SSD. <laughs> but one thing with my team culture, um, I've always tried to make it feel like it's a family and not a team. Um, I don't like to use the word downline teammates. Like I like to say, if someone's joining, like, welcome to our family, I'm your sensey grandma. <laughs> like I try and make it fun where they feel comfortable. Like we're going to be your second family. Um, I also, one thing that I like to do is to recognize things that not just top sales, not just top sponsors, but people like if I, I have a, I have a girl right now that is so scared to death to go live but she's doing so amazing and she's going to go live this evening. So I'm making a big deal about it. When she, when she does go live, I'm going to, I told her to text me. I'm going to be on the live so I can give her moral support. And then once she's done, I'm going to, you know, pump her up and tell the team, you know, Nelly went live. We're so proud of you. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I just don't want anyone to feel left out or alone. So even if they're not my front line and I see that they're, trying something new, whether it's an online party, I'm going to make notice of that. I'll post about it on my team page. I never want people to feel like I'm their manager or that they owe me anything. Like they don't, I don't expect perfection out of them. Um, I hope they don't expect it out of me. So I really like to highlight things beyond just top sales or top sponsor. People going out of their comfort zone. Um, and I feel like that kind of cements our community to where we're all a bunch of cheerleaders, because then I notice it's not just me cheering people on. I have leaders doing the same thing. They'll say, my girl just did her first, you know, basket party. I'm so proud of her. And, and everyone joins in and gives her kudos. And I just feel like that gives us the kind of community that people don't want to leave because they don't get recognized in their real life or at their real jobs, but in Sensi we're a family and we're going to pump you up and it doesn't just have to be you're at the top of the sales charts so i totally agree totally that's yeah. fantastic um terry what do you, what would you add to that and, and do a quick intro you're muted <laughs> just kidding just kidding okay Thank you, Karen. Amanda, that was so good. I don't even know how to follow is what I said when I was muted. If you are a lip reader, you caught that. But anyway, so hi guys, Karen, thanks for asking me. Um, I'm glad you think I'm an expert in this field. So I'll just try to um, live up to what she said. Um, I joined in 2008 
And um, I, I also just joined because I loved the product and it was beautiful and it, it was super accurate. My husband's first career, we moved a lot. So I was always looking for new home fragrance and stuff that was safe. And I had three little kids and all the things. And so I, I soon realized that fragrance made people so happy and everybody wanted it and wanted to be a part of it. So um, I too, after about a year, I became a director and realized that I maybe should um, get focused in and figure out what this Scentsy thing was and get good at it. <laughs> so I tried and, um, and I love it. And of course it was a great decision. So, um, it's funny because how I feel about team culture is much of what Amanda said already, um, but it's that camaraderie. And I look back at my life of careers and, and skill sets, and I have mostly been in female dominated professions, whether that was performing arts, um, cheerleading, um, I'd say I was, uh, I've been in hairdressing, cosmetology, the beauty world. So when you work with a lot of women and or you teach a lot of women pr primarily, it's really important to have a theory of um, being a girl's girl. And so I've always taught that to my young women that I teach and coach in the theater and cheerleading and dance. And when I say, uh, what are we? Anybody that's been coached by me, young girls will say, girls, girls, and they'll yell it because what that means to us is that when you're a girl's girl, whether you're a grown woman, girl's girl or not, that you can appreciate other women's gifts and that you are not insecure about other people's strengths and focusing on your weaknesses. Instead, be that girl who can give accolades to another female in particular for what she does well and be secure with what you do well. And so together, I believe that girl's girl um, culture breeds confidence. So that kind of goes into what Amanda was saying. Like when you are all in for each other and you've locked arms um, together yet independently, it breeds this confidence that just trickles down to the next level. So if you're um, teaching that, then your directors will teach that and you will have very little problems in comparison to people who haven't um, done that. Like they haven't laid that blanket across their table of their team. For me, I always say, you guys, this isn't even though we're independent contractors, it's not an individual sport. It's a team sport because I would be so very arrogant to act like I got here by myself. Clearly, you cannot be any leadership title in Sensi without the amazing downlines. And um, you're, we're dealing with a lot of personalities, you guys. So if you kind of um, gently insist on this type of culture, you will see that the majority of your downline will be girls, girls, and, um, and guys, guys, you know, because the men we have on our teams also, there's no ego involved. We can't go there. We have to all stay open to growth mindset and um, helping each other be the best version of ourselves, right? I love that. I love that so much. I'm going to switch to Eva. Eva, will you t uh, introduce yourself uh, briefly? And then I want, you know, Orville talks about stickiness in, in a team and a, a creating a culture that's sticky, meaning um, it needs to change over time and people need to be drawn towards it and they want to stay. So will you tell us what are there things that you do differently now than you did in the beginning? Are there things that work for you now or that maybe you didn't even do a year ago? Like, what are you finding that works? to create that kind of cohesive culture. Oh, it's like a, she may have locked up. You're muted, Eva. I don't know if I can see her. There you go. You can hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I was saying, um, 
thanks to Karen for asking me this morning. I was like, I don't know what I have to offer, but okay, I'll show up. I'll be here. Um, and it's funny. I literally like just walked in the door and just sat down in my office. So perfect timing. I was able to get home. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I wish I knew then that I know now that you kind of learn as you go. Um, but one of the things that I've always stuck with was, um, you know, and when I first joined, um, well, first, my name's Eva Sox. Hi, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm a superstar director in Pennsylvania. Um, I joined nine and a half years ago, completely on a whim. I didn't own the products. I knew nothing about it other than it was wax and warmers. I thought I'll give it a try. I was working full time as a dental hygienist. Um, had a five-year-old. I commuted three hours a day round trip and a husband at home that didn't help. So, um, busy people get things done. And so it's the thing where, you know, never underestimate what you think someone may or may not need because it was the best thing I never knew I needed. Um, became a director, yeah, in seven months, star director in 18 months, and I promoted to superstar director three years ago. Um, but one of the things I've always, it's just always been the culture of our team is that it's our team. It's not my team, it's our group. Um, I remember how uncomfortable I used to feel in the beginning um, when people would go to introduce me and they'd say, this is my boss. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. I'm not your boss. <laughs> you know, I'm someone here to help and mentor and to be here for you, but definitely not your boss. You're an independent consultant. We're in this together. Um, and I've always just loved how during times where some of us have gone through some rough things, some of the, you know, the directors, we all just chip in and we help one another, right? Like we're all there for each other. And, um, in my group page, we have a, um, we have all, we, I have a mission statement in there and it's pretty much, you know, that we're there to help each other, help each other grow. There's no bullying. There's no, you know, putting someone down, you know, it's, it's all the things. A, a posts have to be approved. Um, directors are admins. If they're unsure, they leave it for me and I make the final decision. Um, and I do reach out to someone. If it's something I don't feel like should be posted, I reach out to them and I explain, um, I think one of the best things I remember from boot camp is the whole uh, director boot camp was the feel felt found. I've just always tried to use that with um, the team. You know, whenever someone comes to me with a concern, you know, they just want to be validated. And I'll say, you know, I understand how you feel. You know, and I've felt the same way. And what I have found is this, they want to be heard. They want to be validated. They want to know that what their feeling matters and for the most part, a lot of us have probably felt the same way, right? And how we react now might be different than what we did back then. I remember back then, oh my gosh, if let's say before post got um, approved, someone said something that I didn't necessarily agree with, delete, right? Um, but that can say a couple of different things. It can say, oh, that must have been true. You know, she didn't want anybody to see that. But too late, everybody already saw it, or most people saw it. So you want to address it, let it there long enough that it can be seen how it was addressed. And then, and then you remove it, right? And you discuss things in private. But um, yeah, our, our team has just really grown. And, you know, like um, I have three superstar directors now on my downline. And all of them started not long after I did, like six months in. So what's happened over time is, is, you know, they were in my group page and then they added people to the, to the group page. But then as they grew, you know, they got their own group page. And, and so some of their people that were there from the beginning, they're still adding people. But now they have their own superstar director. They have their groups. They're not adding people to mine, which is fine. Um, but I also now have a team page. I do my own team page. And that's been such a huge help to me because as who spoke first? I forget her name. Amanda. Uh, Amanda spoke first. You don't want anyone to feel left out. That's one of the things I don't want. I don't want anyone to ever feel left out. And as you know, as you grow and it gets bigger and bigger, it's harder to shout out everyone, right? Can you imagine shouting out everyone that hits certified in your entire group when they hit certified, right? So I have this relationship with my directors um, and I have a director's group where they know like, they are to instill in their people to shout out their people, right? Um, when you sponsor someone to hit certified, you shout them out. Um, I didn't have a team page for a while, but when I realized I should was when, um, let's say I shouted someone out for hitting certified. That was a, a front line of mine. Someone posted something, a comment that said, oh, 
I hit certified too, but you know, you didn't shout me out. And it's like, how do you say, um, yeah, but you're like six down and you're under another superstar director who has directors and, you know, so for me, it's just such a relief to have that team page where I can really focus on them with shooting star and certified and birthday and anniversary and all those things. And, um, and you know, you just, you just kind of learn as you grow. And I just, I try to instill in them, um, that when we all work together, then we all grow together. And for me, one of the best things that I've tried to start doing is spending time together as a group. I know it's been harder with COVID, but um, I really saw, it was just like magic. Last month we got together and we walked for suicide prevention um, and there might've been 25 of us, we walked and it was great. And we all sat at different tables. It was kind of like Superstar Director Summit where it's like, okay, you're going to sit with people you don't know. And they built new friendships and they got to know each other. And, um, love and I've seen friendships grow from it. And that just makes me happy. Yeah. I love that. Love that. So let's carry on to that a little more. Amanda, what do you do to, well, two, two questions, quick questions for you. Number one, how do you handle negativity on your page? And then a follow-up question, what do you do to encourage that connection within your group? Just like um, Eva was just talking about the walk that they did, or you know, do you do anything virtual or in-person with your, your people to encourage that? Sure, um, number one, the question about negativity. Um, I, my team by now knows that I don't tolerate it, that I don't allow it. Now there's a difference between being negative and just voicing a concern. If someone's voicing a concern, that's fine. But when it starts getting to where it's, you know, catty or there's name calling, like I, I have no problem deleting a comment and I won't even message the person because they should know if they're brand new. Yes, I will have that conversation and say, Hey, our group doesn't really, you know, that's not, that's not how we, how we do things. If you have an issue, please go either to your sponsor or you can come to me. But other than that, we really haven't had any issues with negativity. Now, granted, compared to a lot of um, superstar director groups, my team is 350. So I haven't gotten to the point where it's so big that I'm like, ah, but in April, we did have an issue with an entire leg um, that started. It was a brand new leg and they started to do raffles and it got really bad and really that was the first time I was even threatened. <laughs> so that was something that I had never dealt with. And it was, it kind of brought me down for like a minute. Cause I was like, this is not the group that I, that I thought I had. They're, they're threatening me and, and calling me names and yada, That's yada, yada. Crazy. Yeah. Yes. So I, I went ahead and removed the entire leg from my group page, my team page. It's a privilege, not a right. And I do and think that's eventually. important. I think that's, you know, it is your team page is not a right. It is a privilege. Right. And it's okay to have rules with being part of it. Yeah. 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 And eventually the, the main, the main, uh, the culprits were terminated because they wouldn't content. They wouldn't follow the guidelines that I set out and said, Hey, this is how it's supposed to be. You can't do that. Um, and then the ones that were kind of just, you know, they came back and they were like, I'm so sorry. I did. I just was following my leader and I didn't know. And, you know, I let some of them come back in, but the ones that, you know, were negative, they never came back. So my group knows I, I've set that precedent. I feel like, cause I will mention it even sometimes uh, when we have a, a brand new, when I have a brand new uh, family member join our group, I'm like, Hey, there's no negativity you know, if you have a problem, come to me or go to your director or go to your sponsor. Um, so now yeah, what about, what about, um, connection? Do you do, um, a weekly or monthly zoom for training or even just for community building? Do you offer any yes. local? What do you do? Yes, we, um, well, before COVID we would try and do things like locally with the local teamies and our, our group was a little small. So, it wasn't anything big, but now our group is all over. Um, we like to do virtual Zoom calls. Um, we like, I, I, at least once a week, I like to have guest speakers come on and speak to my group. But I just like, I try to go live a couple of times a week in my group, just so they can see my face, know that I'm here and 
and just know that I, I, you know, I'm not just behind a curtain. Like I know sometimes it's not possible to go live all the time. Trust me. <laughs> I know, but I just, I want them to at least, you know, have some connection with me, whether it be a live Facebook live or a zoom call. And even if it's just to, at the end of the month, jumping on just to cheer each other on. Um, I know a lot of groups do that and my team loves that. I love it. Um, Another connection it. thing that we do is I send on the 15th, I send emails to the top 100 for PRV and then top sponsors. My group, this is something new I just started like six months ago. They love it. They love that email. So, you know, I title it PRV Queens Top 100. I bow down to you, yada, yada. And they screenshot it and share it all over on their personal feed. And that I feel like has really... Like they look forward to that email on the 15th. So that's awesome. I love that. That's fun too. And it costs you nothing, right? Exactly. I, yeah, do I love that. Station. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let me take it back to you, Terry. I know you, during COVID, you guys started doing some fun weekly Zooms. Um, you want to talk about those for a minute? Yeah, sure. So before COVID, I did a local, I'm in Portland, Oregon. I forgot to say that, but I'm from Southern California. So I have a, probably the majority of my team is a little more South of me. So um, for the girls that are local to me, I was doing a um, first Monday of every month, I would do a live meeting here. And I, I saw um, a lot of great cohesiveness that started a thing. And we had a lot of fun doing those. And then of course I haven't had one in months. But in place of that, I had contacted um, my superstar directors in my line. And so um, Stacy Stanchu and um, April Newbell, um, and I do a lot of, we try to do things together, like at SFR and different things. So I said, let's do a Zoom every Monday morning. And this is in quarantine, right? So we knew everybody in the beginning was really home, home. And so... We started it and we've just asked home office and different SSDs to come on and just pretty much tell several of you have been on and, and I will probably be calling some of you, but it's, um, it's just a really fun time to just hear how they started their Sensi journey and that there's peaks and valleys and um, how they ran their business then and then how it changed how they're see how you how you can't be with Sensi maybe 10 years like some of the superstar directors or plus and your season of life changed so your business season changed also and then how did you pivot during the pandemic and um, it's just been a great time to again touch base see each other's face and then as people started going back um, physically to maybe other jobs or they started having to homeschool kids or whatever their case was um, we always record it. And so it's just fun. And it's like in the chat box, they can shout out who's doing great things, um, who's promoted accolades. Every once in a while, I'll do a, a just team Zoom for me. That's like we offer that to our whole group and our speakers group on Mondays. But um, I've also done more intimate ones, much like what um, we were saying about team pages, you know, you, it's good to have, for me anyway, it's been good and it's been a duplicatable process for my directors and leaders below me to basically, I want to always listen and um, establish trust with them, my downline, and, and then that empowers them to be better at what they do. So I have a team page, then I have a group page, which is anybody in my downline is welcome to. I encourage my directors to have a team page of their own. It's a smaller platform for them to speak. So when we talk about doing these Zooms, you can do a wide Zoom with like your whole downline, you can invite everybody. And then sometimes you can do a, a smaller Zoom with just your team members. And then I do a once a week, uh, once a month, um, like the first Wednesday of the month, I do a leaders only Zoom. And that's um, anybody who's a, a DQ or higher in my downline wide, whoever wants to come on. And usually I will ask one of them to share something that's really going well in their business that they're finding a good return on, um, whether that's within leadership, PRV, recruiting, whatever. I love it. I love it. And don't you think that one of the things we've been talking about within our group is the more we've been doing these community type Zooms where people are connecting with each other, the more I think our attendance is going to go up when we go back to in-person events, 
because people yeah. know each other now. They, they recognize yeah. each other through Zoom. They have a connection with people. And it's not like for a newer consultant who maybe doesn't know anyone or have anyone local, it's not like as scary to show up in person for something like that. We so. were just talking about that too, Karen. I was like, wow, can you even... Just think about it for a second. The first big event we're all at. I know, it's going seriously. To be wild. It's going to be so awesome. So too. much fun. I know. I know. I love it. Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys. You guys are all wonderful. I'm going to try and be, um, I'm not Aspen, so I'm not as great as keeping us on track for time. But um, are there any questions, Aspen? No? Oh, there's some chit chat. I know my audio is crap on here, but um, a little bit of chit chat just about the separation between t um, group and team pages. But I feel like maybe that's a um, a super good topic for another call. So I don't want, I don't know that we should address it. But really, when it comes to culture, um, what maybe if we could answer the question of how do you protect your culture when those separations are made? Yeah, that's a great one. Who wants to take that? I mean, I can talk briefly about what I did. I did. I mean, I did speak with, um, so like, for example, I just recently had a director that promoted, so they were going to no longer be on my team page, but it's kind of like when you, when you let them know ahead of time, you know, that this is how this is going to be. Um, and that it isn't, that it's not goodbye. Right. And that they, they are on Taylor's team page, you know, their director, they're in my group page. But, the, but they're no longer part of my team. That I'm here for them, you know, that I'm grandma, she's mama, and she's gonna lead them and spread her wings and fly. And, you know, we did a live, uh, a Zoom, we did a Zoom, me and her with her team, we talked, we chatted. Um, I even did an email for those that weren't there, but they know that they can always reach out to me. And I, I fortunately do have a good relationship with, with all my directors and I still keep them like, I will do, you know, when I get my promotions report, like they, they aren't just cut off from me, you know, they're going to get, well, look at you, you got, you got paid a title this month or congratulations, you promoted this month. And they know that I'm still there. Um, but that just kind of makes it easy when they know the expectations and, and what's going to happen. Just informing, really communicating it with them. I love it. I love it. Love it. Awesome. Okay. Well, we are going to stay on time and we are going to finish on time, which means we have one minute. Um, next week, we'll be back with you with another topic. I don't remember off the top of my head what it is. Do, Aspen, do you remember? Um, I know Kelly is doing Kelly's that in charge of it, right? Yeah. Discussed earlier. Kelly, did you settle on a topic that you want to share with us? Yes. Um, team promotions. Team promotions. I love it. Awesome. So, um, we will be back here next week. Invite your leaders. These calls every week are open to uh, directors and above, and we will post a recording. Thanks, you guys, for joining us, and thank you to our panel. You guys are amazing.